guys, welcome to Janice Big Zoo. My name is Yandu Plessy. I'm the curator of amphibian and reptiles here in the zoo. Behind me is Creature Feature, home of the biggest girl reed frog, one of South Africa's endangered and endemic species of amphibians. Now, worldwide, there's a fungus called chytrid fungus that's driving most amphibian species to the point of extinction. That's why the Johannesburg Zoo joined forces with Isenvela Wildlife, creating sustainable insurance populations and assist with the conservation of these amphibians within South Africa. Let's go and have a look and see what's happening in this program here in Creature Feature. Hello guys, my name is Timo Metziala, I'm a virtual and amphibian keeper in the zoo. My name is Erika Valfmut, I'm an aquarist keeper here at Joburg Zoo. Um, I'm also part of the frog project and I help with the day-to-day -day husbandry that entails to look after these frogs. So once we arrive in the mornings, we firstly switch on all the lights, we check that all the frogs are still okay and that everyone um, is still looking good from the night before. From there we put on our gloves and we test the water quality. Um, we only use RO water, which is reverse osmosis water. Basically, this means that the water has gone from the tap through a filter. There's no chlorine in that water. The pH is, is perfect for them. Um, and then we all start the day. Now, it's very important to study the habitat of these frogs in the wild to make sure that we can mimic it here in the zoo as well. We need to make it as natural as possible and that's also assisting us to stimulate natural behavior. Uh, this species is very uh, important uh, to us uh, because they are also endangered species because in the sense that uh, in the wild environment uh, the population is declining rapidly because, the, uh, because of high rate of urbanization. Every day we have make sure that all of them are surviving in a captive environment. We make sure that they get correct diet and also make sure that they stimulate breeding and, and because uh, so that we can uh, take the offspring to natural environment. In the wild, we'll do record, identifying the plant species, the insect species, the water quality, and we'll bring all of that information back into the zoo here. And we'll take this exotere of vivariums and mimic whatever we have seen or recorded into this enclosure. So we will first clean all the enclosures, um, take any feces out from the night before, clean the leaves, uh, check the substrates, check for eggs, check that the frogs are fine, then we will spray the enclosure. We need to keep the humidity of the climate exactly the same way as it is the case in where they are found. Now, we are responsible in the Joburg Zoo to create the sustainable populations, maintain different genetic lines and grow them. And then we're taking these offsets back into the natural habitat to be introduced or reintroduced. We is in value case in the wildlife as well as all the members supporting them are ensuring that these areas are protected so that we know the future of this species is definitely going to be a success.